What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I am extremely excited because I have found something that I've wanted to unbox and find for the channel for a long time, and I finally found one that at least ships here to Canada, and that is a comic book mystery box. So today we're going to be unboxing the Zek box. Let's get right into this. <music> So I originally heard about the Zek box through another YouTube channel, Do You Nerd, Tom and Lacey, and I asked them where they got it from, and they told me, so I reached out to Coffee Madness, and I was able to purchase my first Zek box. I basically wanted to check it out, see if it's something that I want to continue purchasing in the future, and unboxing on my channel. Now, I use my YouTube funds for this, but if you're in the United States, this box is going to cost you $60 shipped. Unfortunately, to get it to me in Canada, it cost me almost $120 because, of course, it costs them $50 to ship, which is a lot more than they're used to shipping because it has to go over the border. We agreed on a price of $85 US. That equals out to be about $108 Canadian, but I also had the fees for PayPal, which is the only way that it could send him the money. So it equaled out to be $120 for this box, so today I'm gonna to be unboxing it, checking it out for myself. I've seen a whole bunch of other people that are with the Zek community unbox this, and it looks like some really great stuff, but they're pricing it at $60, which is likely what it costs them. To get to me, it costs $120 Canadian, so I, for myself, have to make sure this is worth it to continue unboxing here on my channel. So this box, you don't only get comic books, you get a whole bunch of other goodies, and I can't wait to check it out. Let's unbox it here, and I'll show you guys everything that is inside. I already cut the box open, and right off the bat, we have a shirt. Now, Coffee actually reached out to me and asked me, uh, basically they didn't have any of the shirts with their logo on it, so he wanted to know if this would be sufficient, and it is a green lantern shirt. I'm just going to open this up, try it on, make sure it fits, and check it out. So off to a really great start. The shirt does fit. It is nice and comfy. It's a little bit heavier than the shirts I typically like to get from Tee Public, but it is nice. The print is a little bit thicker than I'm used to, but it does feel like a nice comfy shirt. So I absolutely love the shirt off to a really great start, at least in my opinion. Now for the actual Zek box. It is right here. They always customize it with stickers and it's a little bit, you can't really see, it is bulging a little bit. So I'm excited to see what is inside. It feels like it's really packed. Not only excited for the comic books, but everything that is in this box. So let's open it up here and take a closer look. I'm going to start off with what's on top, and that is a little patch with the Coffee Madness logo. That looks really cool. These patches are really durable, great quality. Really impressed with that. I wasn't expecting like a really great quality, but that is amazing. The next item is another Coffee Madness merch, and that is a keychain. It actually is a really nice quality, not like a cheap keychain, but a really nice heavy keychain, so that's really nice. Great quality on that as well. Now I think these are all the stickers, so we have Deadpool, which I absolutely love Deadpool. You guys know this. I absolutely love him. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. There we go. So Deadpool sticker. We have a Star Wars sticker, which is always cool. Another Star Wars one boss. Darth Vader, that's interesting. We have, these ones are a little bit more glossy, but we have Spider-Man. That's cool. And we have Captain America, which is awesome. I absolutely love the superhero ones. These here, I'm not really sure what they are. Um, they're Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, AMC. They look like they're promotions. So I'm going to open up one here. They sent me four of them. I'm going to open up one and see what is inside. Get them out. They look like uh, promotional cards, which is always cool. So we have Penny Parker, Spider Gwen, which that looks really cool. I'm just going to let it focus here. That looks really cool. I like that. And we have Tombstone. Now I have not watched the movie, but those are really cool. Uh, I'm assuming they're promotional for whenever the movie came out. 
Um, I'm gonna have to check out the other ones off camera, but those are really interesting. I'm gonna have to check them out and see what other ones we got. Now for some of the other stuff, right on top we have a micro key launcher, little uh, Chevy toy, which is cool. Let's see if it will focus there, there we go. Um, that's very interesting. Um, we did get two of the exact same one. That's cool. It would have been, would have been a little bit better to uh, receive two different ones, but that's actually very interesting that it's actually licensed from uh, GM. That's really cool. Um, not really for me. Um, obviously, I'm going to gift these to either a nephew or somebody, but those are very interesting, very cool. We do have some Justice League figures. We have Batman. I'm going to keep tapping the screen so focus in on it. That's really cool. I'm not sure what year this is. Um, have to find out off camera and basically take a closer look, but that looks really cool. Uh, it's actually from Mattel Canada from Mississauga. That's interesting. That's awesome. Cool. And we have another one for Justice League. I like this one a little bit more and that is Superman. Um, I just like that it's more metallic. Um, the other one looked like it's basic. It looks a little bit cheaper plastic, but this here looks really nice in the metallic blue. Um, looks like it's a little bit more detail on it than the Batman figure. But the Batman figure did resemble a retro looking Batman, so that's still really, really cool. Now we have like a mini booze mystery figure. Um, we're going to be checking this out, Series 3. Um, it tells you what could be inside on the back. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm hoping for. Maybe the cheetah? I don't really want a pink one, but let's open it up and see what is inside here. So that's cool. It does have a little checklist inside so you can go and try to collect them all. That's interesting. Uh, the one that we got though is a little pink unicorn. So the detail on it's really cool. I remember these growing up, but not really something for me. Obviously, I'm going to have to re-gift it, but that is still really cool. I love the detail on it, at least. Just not something that's really for me. Next, we have an Itty Bitties Hawkeye. That is really cool. I've seen somebody else unbox one of these, and they had two of the same one in their box. So I'm just going to let it do its thing here, close up. That's really cool. On the back, it has the arrows. That's interesting. I don't really collect plush that much. But if there's a plush that I really like that's interesting, I will um, put it up on display. So this is actually something that's going to be staying at least in my collection, in my possession at least. So that is all the figures and little trinkets that came in this box. So far, pretty interesting stuff. Some of it is going to be for me, some of it is going to be stuff that I'm going to be re-gifting. And now for the main event the comic books, which is why I wanted to really purchase this box. When I seen Do You Nerd unbox it, I'm somebody that loves comic books, but there's not really that many great comic book shops in my area, or especially now because of lockdown, there's none that are open. So seeing a mystery box online was very interesting, but at $120, I have to make sure that the comics that I got, because that, that's basically what I purchased it for, basically equal the value that I paid for the box. And I'm hoping it does, because I would like to open up more of these in the future. So right on top, we have for comics. So up first we have X-Men, looks like issue four. Uh, more of a modern comic, which I haven't been reading modern comics or even see them in my area for a long time, but this is something that I absolutely love X-Men, so it's going to be something that I personally am going to check out, and I'm really excited for that. It looks like it's going to be really cool. Next, Yondu. Issue 1, I absolutely love Guardians of the Galaxy. I love the artwork on this one. That looks phenomenal. I'm the type of comic book collector that's, when it comes to the artwork, that's what matters the most. If the artwork and the theme of the comic, so superheroes that I collect and different things like that, superheroes that I like, are all on point for me, that's the purchase that I'm going to make. So this comic here is really cool. It's a new issue of comic. And I do love the characters, so the artwork looks amazing. I think that's going to be awesome comic for me to read. Next up is a, another new issue current comic, issue number three for X-Men. I like that they put the little sticky notes saying what it is, so I don't really have to guess so much. But it looks like Cyclops on the cover riding a dragon uh, with a giant bug here. So this is going to be an interesting read. That That's going to be something that's 
for me and I can't wait to dive into because not only do I like collecting, but I also love reading comics, except I don't tend to do that often because I don't have much free time to be able to actually go and read them. And the next is the Uncanny Special. So that's really cool. Uh, it looks like Iron Man on the cover here. Um, that's very interesting. And on the back, we have Nova Special. There's other comics in here, but I don't want to open it up uh, right now. Part three of three, so maybe all three parts are in here, but that's very interesting. At least it'd be a very interesting read for me. Now between those comics and the next ones, we have a little Star Wars tote, which is always interesting. It's a little bit smaller, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to use it for, but definitely a really cool uh, little tote with all Star Wars characters on it. That's very interesting. So like I said, this mystery box cost me 120 So far, it's pretty interesting stuff, but this is going to determine these comics if it was worth me purchasing or if it's worth me purchasing more in the future. Up first, we have the first giant size collector item issue. Issue number one for Fantastic Four Unlimited. That's very cool. It has Black Panther, who I don't have any comics that have Black Panther in it. So that is very cool. The Thing right on the front. You guys know I'm a huge Thing fan, especially now that I have my Thing Funko Pop. So this is very cool. The first issue for Fantastic Four Unlimited. Next is another issue number one for X-Men 2099. Love the border. It's more of a metallic. I'll let it focus here. Can't really tell the metallic with the uh, camera angle. Uh, the only thing is with this comic, there is damage along the bottom here. You guys can see that scraped right in. Uh, it's still very interesting. I do love X-Men, you guys know this, so it's more of a futuristic X-Men. Definitely gonna be an interesting read for me. Next is something that I am not familiar with and there's no issue number, that is Dream Police. Um, I'm gonna have to read this at least, but not really something I personally collect, but something that is interesting to check out, and I do love the cover, and you guys know, if the cover looks good, Takedown's going to collect. Next is Cyberella. This looks like um, issue number two, 1996, the year I was born, so definitely something that is interesting, and I am gonna be checking out, and at least giving it a read. It doesn't really look like a comic book that I really personally would be into, but at least I'm gonna check it out and give it a read. And it was from the year I was born, so already off to a great start. This means this one here is about 25 years old. So that is very, very interesting. Next, we have a comic from 1985, which is very cool, the new Teen Titans. So that is very interesting. I'm gonna have to check to see basically what the value of this one is. That looks really cool, I like the artwork. Um, I like all the superheroes there, that looks really cool. I'm not really into the Teen Titans, but definitely something I'm willing to check out and give it a read at least, 1985, that is a cool comic in my opinion. I love collecting more of the comics from the 80s and up to 1990. Anything past that, still worth a nice read, but it's not something I'm going to try to find and collect as often as I would something from the 80s. Next we have issue number eight for Tom Strong, that is really cool. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be a futuristic um, Cowboys comic book. I'm not really familiar with it. There is the uh, gorilla or the ape in the back there. So this is something that's going to be interesting. Not really up my alley. I'm not really into uh, Western style comics or Western anything. But definitely something that I'm willing to check out since it was included in this box. We have issue number zero for The Adventures of Superman. And it does have a, you can't really tell on camera here, it does look like a metallic finish at least on uh, the blue on Superman. That's really cool. Issue number zero, 1994. That's really cool. A nice special edition and definitely worth me checking out. We have Batman Day issue number one free comic. Uh, this is from GameStop exclusive. That's really cool. I do like Batman. Um, I'm not sure what year this is from. This is, uh, oh, 2015. Next we have issue number nine. This is right up my alley for what I collect and that is X-Force. Now this is around the era that I was collecting um, or that I do still collect and that I really try to find. Now this one here is a little beat up more than I would normally like if I was purchasing this as a single comic for my collection. If I seen this in a comic book store, I probably wouldn't purchase it just because it is extremely beat up. A lot of creases along the edges, 
Um, a lot of rips in the pages, but still something that's interesting to read. I love that it's big old cable up here. So it's definitely something that I'm going to at least check out and read. And the last comic that is in the Zek box is issue number one. I can't really see what year it is, but that is Venom the Madness part one of three. And you have Juggernaut in the eyes of Venom. That cover alone would be a buy if I've seen that on the shelf in a comic book store. That looks amazing. And of course, now that I have part one of three, I'm gonna want to get the other ones because you guys know I love Venom, but I don't own any Venom comic books. So this is definitely something that is interesting to me. Definitely this comic book is, in my opinion, the highlight of the box. I absolutely love Venom so much. That's, that's why I'm declaring this the highlight of the box. So now the question of the day, do I think the Zek box was worth it? Now you have to remember because it has to come into Canada. It didn't cost me $60 US. It cost me $120 Canadian because we agreed on $85 US that has to be converted to Canadian currency. And of course there's PayPal fees. So it cost me roughly $120 Canadian. Now with that, that price points, we did receive a nice shirt. Did receive some comic books about three quarters of them are ones that are interesting to me and that i absolutely love some of them aren't really for me and a lot of these small trinkets that were included are not stuff that i would typically collect so they're not really of much value to me so do i think i will purchase another zek box in the future it's still possible i right now cannot purchase a zek box every month because 120 dollars that is a lot of money. At least it's not coming out of my pocket. I am using my YouTube funds that I've saved up for it. So it's coming out of my YouTube money and not my personal money, but I can't still justify purchasing a Zek box every month for the value that I received in it at $120 that I had to pay. So I am right now going to skip next month and I'm still going to consider purchasing the month after that and trying it again, but it's definitely not something I can do monthly. And after I purchase that box, if I do purchase it in another two months and try the Zek box again, then I'll decide if it's something that I want to continue with or if it's something that I just can't afford anymore on the channel and to get. If you are in the US, in my opinion, this is completely worth it. You get a ton of comics, a bunch of other interesting items as well. So for $60 US shipped, that'd be a great deal for any of my American friends. However, if you're in Canada, you might want to reconsider the Zek box because it's gonna cost you roughly 120 and I honestly right now cannot justify paying that for what I receive. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want your own Zek box, check out Coffee Madness on YouTube or Instagram. Reach out to him, he's really nice and friendly. Coffee is amazing, the Zek members are awesome as well. Just right now, I'm not 100% sure if I can continue purchasing this product. Regardless, I absolutely loved unboxing the Zek box today and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you guys did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.